Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So I decided to come out in the sunshine today and discuss a rather somber topic. I never really talk about this topic on my channel, which is about breakups and everything. And literally, I was just thinking about it the other day. I was like, you don't never talk about breakups on your channel. Why not? And honestly, it's because I don't want people to break up. But I do understand that maybe you before you found my channel, how about that? <laughs> maybe before you found my channel, you were you are or were in this relationship that you you know is kind of teetering or you're trying to decide if this is the right decision to leave or how to, excuse me or how to leave or why you should leave or should you stay and it finally got put on my heart to say you know what just go ahead and do a video about um, is it the right decision to walk away so I'm gonna do that video today and then tomorrow I am going to discuss how to actually tell your partner uh, that you want to break up so come back tomorrow so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this one today So I want to leave my partner, but I'm trying to decide if it is the right decision. I have 10 tips for you. The very first one is to make a list and make a list about the good and the bad that your partner has. Do either one of them outweigh each other? Hopefully the good outweighs the bad and then obviously you can stay. But if your bad is outweighing the good, and I mean write down every single solitary thing that you can think about. The things that piss you off, the things that get on your nerves, the things that you love about your partner, the things that make you melt when you see them. You know, their, their smell, their touch, their taste, the sex, the gifts, the the just the caring portion of them write down every single solitary thing that you can think about and then at the end of that list if the good things outweigh the bad things then like i said try to work it out however if the bad is outweighing the good then this is a point to think about if you should decide to walk away the second thing to think about is when you're around your partner, when you're around your spouse, when you're around your boyfriend or girlfriend, how do you feel when you are around them? Do you feel good? Do they make you feel great? Or do you feel super drained? Are you happy when they are not around you? Do you feel like you can actually thrive with them being gone? That is another way to just think if this is a right decision for you to tell your partner that it is time to go. The third thing to think about is when you guys are having a discussion, when it's time to compromise and everything, are both parties willing to compromise for the betterment of the relationship? Not just for um, one partner or the other, but for both of you. So say for instance, they came to you with a question, oh, I'm sorry, with an issue, and they're like, hey, I would like to handle it this way. And then they come to you and say, well, you know what? I actually don't wanna handle it that way. But then somewhere down the middle, you two are working it out. So you're getting a little bit and he's getting a little bit and and you both can feel good about what you're willing to compromise for each other for the relationship for the healthiness of each other the fourth thing to actually think about is when you tell them that you want to do something new a new goal a new aspiration how are they showing up for the support with for you are they telling you you know what you can do it i know that you can do it it doesn't even matter if they if they believe that you can do it but they are verbally telling you that you can do it or they're asking more and more questions about how to actually go about attaining this goal are they on your side do you feel good about them do you actually feel supported or are they like you know what you you want to do that like, you, you sure you want to do that? I mean, I, some of some people even bold enough to say, I mean, I don't even know if you're smart enough to do something like that. So just think about how they are supporting you when you come to them about a goal, a dream, aspiration. The fifth thing to think about is, are your core values being met while you are on this journey with this person? Because relationships are absolutely a journey. You do not get into a relationship and then the relationship just halts or everything is always going to be hunky dory. There are never going to be any arguments or anything like that. How do you feel about being on this journey with this particular person? Are your core values being disrupted? Are you feeling like you are becoming somebody completely different when you are with this person? If you are, this is absolutely something to think about. Do you want to stay in this relationship with this person? Because they're not adding any value to you. They're actually taking away from you. They, they are helping you because nobody can make you do anything. They are helping you become a different person. You are always coming out of character when you are with this person. 
mm, that's something to seriously think about if you want to stay in this relationship. Again, all of these are adding up into a decision to say, you know what, I probably do not want to be here with this person. Now, let me also say before I move on to number six is if there's only one or two of these things that your partner is not doing, then you have a pretty good relationship. Because again, I always say you're never going to get 100% of what you want from anybody. You are, you yourself are not even able to give 100% to your partner. So you cannot expect which we do, but you cannot expect your partner to be able to give you 100% because you can't give them 100%. It's just not possible. That goes back to the core values that you might feel like you're doing something wrong in order to um, make your partner feel good, make them feel loved. So some things are just not going to occur. Anyway, moving on. Number six, a lot of people forget about this, especially when you get into relationships and life is just moving on. And what am I talking about? I am talking about the big S-E-X. Yes, sex. A lot of people forget about sex. Is your sex life intact the way that you would like it to be? Maybe it's not even 100%, but are you at least having sex? How about that? Forget about if it's mediocre or mind-blowing. Are you even having it? There's a lot of people out there that's not even having it. They let the, the world get in the way of them finding a way to connect with one another. So are you at least having sex? And then even if it is mediocre, are you working toward making it mind blowing? Yeah, these are questions because sex is an essential portion of a relationship. As the relationship matures, you don't perform <laughs> as much. However, it still absolutely occurs. And this is absolutely a way that you can feel like you are connected with your partner as well. So, are you having sex? When is the last time you had sex? The seventh thing to think about is, is the distance continuously growing between the two of you? So say for instance, you guys have arguments and now the arguments are just getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and both of you guys are shutting down. Nobody is willing to be the bigger party to say, I'm sorry to come back to bring you two back into a, um, so neither party is ready to bring the relationship back to its healthy state. You both want to continue to be mad. You both have a point to prove. You both are, are sitting there or um, looking at looking up. You both are sitting there looking up side each other's head, thinking what you can do next to do wrong to them. That's not healthy. That's not healthy and it's not right. And if this is something that is constantly occurring in your relationship, then you really need to think about if you should stay, if you should go. You have to be willing to bring the harmony back to the relationship. That's the only way the relationships are thriving. So if you continuously arguing, the distance is going to continuously grow because now I feel like I have something to prove to you. I don't want you to get your way all the time or I don't feel like I'm always the one who has to say sorry first. There's a lot of ego built up within all of us and we all have to figure out a way to um, control that ego. Because again, relationships, when you're in a relationship, you have to be selfless in these relationships, not selfish, selfless. Number eight is a big one. Are you sitting there or lying there or in your dreaming state having fantasies about being in a relationship with somebody else or having fantasies about you moving on, doing something else in your life without your partner even existing anymore? Is the picture that you have in your fantasy, does it still involve your partner being there? And if it's not, that might be a telltale sign that it might be time to move on. The ninth thing is, do you feel heard in your relationship? Anytime that you have a talk, do you feel like your partner is over talking you where you can't get it word in edgewise? at all or every time you start to speak then guess what they cut you off because they have a point of view that they need for you to hear that they need for you to see so you're not feeling heard and anytime you complain about this very thing it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how much you complain about this thing you are not feeling heard in your relationship and it is becoming detrimental to your relationship because the resentment is starting to build up you're starting to harbor some of this resentment because you're just ticked off like I can't even get nothing in. I mean, it don't even matter what I say. It doesn't even matter how much I complain to you or at least try to explain to you because you're not listening or you're making it all about you. Everything is not all about you. Can you hear what I'm saying? Can you at least let me get it out and you just shut it up so I can say it? You have no idea what I'm trying to say. 
but you're already trying to explain. You're already trying to take over the conversation. So do you feel hurt in your relationship? The 10th thing to absolutely think about is you know in your gut, you know in your heart of hearts that this is the right thing to do. But you are scared, you are fearful because you don't know what's next. You don't know if you're going to find somebody else. You don't know how this is going to affect the other person. And there's just a lot of this going on in your head. There might be some bills that you know thinking that you can't pay by yourself. And you don't want to downgrade. It's just a whole lot of fearful thoughts going through your head. So I suggest that you feel the fear and do it anyway. And just think about this when you do actually decide, because this is the very first thing that we're doing. We're just trying to see if you should decide to stay or if you should decide to go. This is just the decision. But once you decide, that weight is lifted off your shoulder. And it doesn't matter if you're deciding to stay or if you are deciding to go. Once you decide and actually stick to that decision, you feel so much better. The weight is lifted off your shoulder. You are able to stand up straighter. You are able to lift your head up and you're not feeling all sad and sorry for yourself. All right, family, definitely give me thumbs up if you like this video. I was just very passionate about this video, but I feel like um, I need to make more videos about breakups because again if you are in a breakup state or if you are feeling like you need to break up and you need a little bit of guidance on how to do it or if you're just trying to decide like the video today then these are just some things to think about obviously there are a multitude of things to think about i didn't even think about i mean i didn't even bring up the children i didn't even bring up finances there are a multitude of things to think about when you are thinking about leaving this is just a list of 10. so just decide Whenever you get all of the information that you need, decide and then come back tomorrow so you can hear how you actually approach your partner and let them know that you have decided to leave. So we'll address that tomorrow. I will absolutely love it if you give me thumbs up. Definitely check the description box down below because I have my online courses down there. Then and um I also have the playlist for the month of March down there as well, as well as um, some other information too, especially if you need to get in contact with me, absolutely get in contact with me. The best way to get in contact with me is via my Gmail. And again, that's in the description box as well. I will see you again here. Yes, right here tomorrow. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Deuces.